Let's look at the next question of a topic of time slid and distance of the same paper of CAR 2021. What is the question? Well, the question says, two trains A and B were moving in the opposite directions, their speed being in the ratio of 5 to 3. The front end of A crossed the rear end of B 46 half seconds after the front end of the trains had crossed each other. So it's an instance where two of the trains are standing like this. The front end have actually about two, or let's say they are at this instant where they are crossing each other. And it took another 69 seconds for the rear end of the train to cross each other. The question is, find the ratio of length of train A versus train B. Now all the questions of time slid and distance, you got to visualize to solve it quickly. Okay, if you're able to visualize and make the diagram, it's not going to be difficult at all for you to solve this. Let's assume this is my train A. Okay, let's assume this is my train A which is here and the first instance is basically an instance where the heads of the train are basically next to each other. The heads of the train are next to each other. The front end have just crossed. <coughs> the front end have just crossed. It takes 46 seconds <coughs> for train A to cross the rear end of B. This is the rear end of B. So let's say this is my instance one. <clears throat> let's make train B in the similar form. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> you've got a train A, uh, where the head of the train, <clears throat> the head of the train is reaching the rear end of train B, train B. From this instance to this instance, it is taking how much time? This is taking exactly 46 seconds. Now, let's see instance 2. Now, instance 2, it takes, it says, it takes another 69 seconds. It takes another 69 seconds for the rear end of the trains to cross each other. Now, B's rear end is already here. From this instance, let's make instance C. Um, you will assume, or uh, let's say visualize B to be in this form only. So, we are not making any changes in B. But A will be now here. A will be now here. Okay? From instance B, uh, let's assume this is to be as instance A. This is instance B and this is instance C. From A to B, it takes 46 seconds. From B to C, it is now taking how many seconds? It is now taking exactly 69 seconds. <coughs> now, let's assume B to B. Uh, let's assume <coughs> train B, I'm not changing anything. Now, train A is just crossing B. I repeat, the train A is just crossing B. From the first instance what we have made where train A was here, to come to a level that train B is about to meet the rear end of B, what is the distance travelled by train A? <coughs> the distance which is travelled by length A in the first to second instance will be exactly the length of B. Because from here to here, you are just crossing the length of so to cross the length of B, how many how many seconds you have taken? You have taken 46 seconds. Now let's see from instance B to instance C. <coughs> we are here, right? Now from this instance where the front end of train A is meeting the rear end of train B to a level where both the rear ends of the trains are meeting. What is the distance covered by train A? The distance covered by train A will be the distance equivalent to the length of the train A because I'm just covering my own length, my own length. So to cover my own length, I'm taking how many seconds? I'm taking another 69 seconds. Now, mind you, the relative speed, I repeat, the relative speed of A and A versus B, since both of them are moving in the opposite direction, will be constant. And here, if the relative speed is constant, the length will be directly proportional with the time. The more the time, the lengthier the train would be, the longer the train would be. Now, from this, I have I already have the time taken to cover the length of A and length of B is, is how much? 69 upon 46 seconds. So the same ratio will be the ratio of length of train A versus length B because my relative speed is exactly the same. So my final answer, which is the ratio of length A versus length B, will be 69 upon 
46. 67 upon 46 will be how much? Will be nothing but 3 upon 2. And hence, you will mark option number D to be the final answer for the given question. As said, the first and the foremost thing that we have done is to visualize and make an instance based diagram and then understanding what is the length covered or the distance covered by Rene in instance from instance 1 to instance 2 from instance 2 to instance 3 you have understood that it is nothing but the length of B which is being covered first length of A which is being covered second my relative speed is constant so my time is directly proportional with my length